Okay, then, Namaste, Adab, Shia, Kaal, this is CS Sankalp, Kanshtia, welcoming each one of you in this session on fate of forward contracts, your early delivery, late cancellations, right? Extension, early extension, on due date, all of that covered in this session. Just stay here, take a book, take a pen, all your focus, and I assure you that 8 to 10 mark question that is going to come in your exam, for sure you will be able to attempt with full ease. Yes. Also, do like the video if, if you are uh, happy with the revision sessions that are going on and want more of it. I've already told you all always that your comment is what I'm waiting for in order to come up with my next video. Now, today we are going to do the whole fate of forward contracts which include everything. So if you open your uh, magic book, so we will connect a little magic book also, the deliveries, the cancellations, the extensions, the delivery on due date, early delivery, late delivery, all of that. And all questions that I'm going to do are going to be from your ICI module because that's where ICI asks the question related to fate of forward contracts from. So now all I want is book, pen, that's it and your full concentration and easily we will be able to conquer this. All of the notes will also be shared to you on Telegram channel. Telegram channel is given in the comments box. All yours. Let the session begin with a full josh. And even if you want to watch it in parts, that's absolutely okay. But ensure that you are watching all of this because at least six to eight marks will come in the examinations and people usually leave it an option. You should not. If you are planning to score good in one subject, this concept is definitely that you need to do and go. Okay. Sure. Let the game of eight and forward contracts begin. Okay, so here we begin the journey of fate of forward contracts. So what I will be doing is I will be ensuring that all of the questions of your ICAI module is now being covered here. So ensure that module is with you. Very high chances that ICAI will ask the question directly from here. And I will cover you with all the questions that are there. So are you guys with me, everybody? Yes, please ensure that you are there. Writing in the comment that, yes, sir, we are here. Also telling me what is the next thing that possibly you would require. See, I need full josh from y'all so that it motivates me further. Your positiveness will be my motivation. Okay, Chalo, let's, let's start with the game. So, fate of forward contracts. What is the meaning of fate? Fate means destiny. What is going to be the destiny of forward contracts? So, that is what we are going to understand in this. But first, let's understand what are forward contracts. I know you know you guys are aware of what are forward contracts in detail. But just give me an idea. What is a forward contract? Can I say it is a currency management tool? It is a currency hedging tool? right used to hedge the currency risk so to say because i want to freeze the rate right now i want to freeze the rate of dollar right now i am an exporter i may be an importer i may be requiring dollars i may be selling dollars after three months but i don't want any risk and i want to secure myself by freezing the rate of the dollar and that is where i go to my forward contracts am i right yes sir absolutely right but as they say, you know, we may plan many a things in life, but life will always give a new twist. My grandmother, my granny always, always says this, that you can plan whatever you want to, but what is going to happen is decided by him. Yes, definitely you have to work hard for it. No doubt about that. But spiritually, she says that he will give the best that is in your fate, in your destiny. And the same thing happens with a forward contract as well. We enter into a forward contract thinking that yes, we will honor the forward contract as the date, as the price it is set. But fate may have some other plans, right? So there may be chances that on the day of the forward contract expiry, 
I may not be able to execute it. I may not be able to honor it. And therefore, there can then come into picture a variety of things. And that is what we are going to study in this concept, fate of forward contract. So what is the variety that you are speaking of? What are the things that can happen is what we are going to study. So, so first, 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 before we move on, just write up what are forward contracts? Can I say they are currency risk management tools? They are nothing but Currency risk management tools. Yes, sir, they are. What what do they do? What, what does a forward contract do? Can I say forward contract essentially ensures that my currency rates are freezed for a date in future? That my currency rates are freezed for a date in future yes sir but sir you are saying that yes we may plan to honor the contract as it is but 90 percent of the times as observed by the banks by the authorized dealers the contract doesn't go as thought of and that is where a uh, fedai made something called as forward contract rules now your next question is sir what 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 word did you say i said fadai sir what is fadai so fadai is fadai is foreign exchange dealers association of india and all of the fate of forward contract that we are going to study in the next one two three whatever hours is all guided and developed by FADAI. What is FADAI? It is Foreign Exchange Dealers Association of India. So they observed that there are three things possible. There are three things possible. So what are the three things? First is on time delivery of forward. As in, suppose if I am an importer and uh, I require dollar after three months. So, I may go today to the bank, to the authorized dealer and I will tell them that boss, I want dollars after three months. What is the rate that we are going to freeze? He says that let's freeze the rate one dollar equal to 85 as per the ongoing rates in the market. I said, okay, done. So, 85 lakh rupees I take with me after three months, go to the bank, give them 85 lakh rupees. They will give me one lakh dollars. I will send it to my exporter. This is the usual scenario, right? So this is basically called as, this is basically called as delivery on due date. Also, I may be an exporter. I will tell that, okay, I am going to get dollar one lakh after three months. What is the rate? She says, let's freeze it at one dollar equal to 86. I said, okay, done. Now, after three months, I will get one lakh dollar. I will go to the bank, authorized dealer. They will give me 86 lakh rupees. I will give them one lakh dollar and the matter freezes and the matter ends, closes. Am I right? But in nine out of 10 times, this is not going to happen. So then what is going to happen? Tell us. So that's what I'm telling you. And for all such reasons or all such things, Fadai has made some certain rules and those rules are to be followed by us. And that is what we are going to study at every juncture. Yes, everybody with me? Got it? So, what is the first best thing that is going to happen? Sir, delivery on time. For this, we don't need FADAI. For this, we don't need Sankal. Sir, for this, we don't even need a chartered accountant. Yeah, we don't need anybody. We have a contract with the bank. We will go to the bank, honor the commitment, game over. We don't need anybody else. But that is just 10% of the scenario. For the remaining 90% of the scenarios, you will require a chartered and that's where I will step in. Come on, let's write down. So, first is that delivery happens and it happens on due date and it happens on due date. Hey, some you do. Clear everybody? Okay, sir. What are the other situations which you are saying? Suppose now my exporter, suppose I am an importer, I told bank that bank, 
I will come to you. You give me one lakh dollar after three months. I will give you eighty five lakh rupees. But I get an urgent call from my exporter. He says, Mr. Sankal, I need immediately one lakh dollar. I am in need of money. Now we have a relationship for last more than twenty years. We are doing business, and if that person needs money. i will have to ensure that i will give him that even before he requires so what is going to happen delivery but on due date no when is the delivery going to happen then guys so now my exporter wants the delivery before due date so there will now be another possibility and what is that that is called as early delivery that is called as early delivery there might also be a possibility that on the due date i had to transfer 1 lakh dollar to my client right so what am i supposed to do 85 lakh rupees i am supposed to go take and go to the bank and give it to the bank and tell the bank bank 85 lakh rupees give me dollar 1 lakh but on the day of delivery on the due date i am not able to arrange 85 lakh rupees so i immediately call my exporter and i tell him mr exporter sir unfortunately i do not have the money right now can i give it to you later he says no problems no problems brother so what is now going to happen yes so first was earlier delivery now it is late delivery so these are the possibilities that now we will have to take care of gotcha done then what are the other possibilities next possibility is something called as cancellation something called as cancellation on the date of delivery on the date of the 3 months say today i enter into a forward contract after 3 months my importer or exporter calls me that i am not able to deliver the goods or there is going to be a war like situation between your country and my country let's cancel the contract if that contract is cancelled if our buying selling contract is cancelled correct the forward contract also will get cancelled and that basically is called as cancellation of contracts that basically is called as cancellation of contracts even in cancellation of contracts there are going to be possibilities i come on the due date and tell that okay let's cancel the contract so that is called a cancellation on due date then there is a possibility that we may tell let's cancel it early so that will become early cancellation yeah then there can be a possibility correct late cancellation right and then there is one more a unique concept called as automatic cancellation that is a unique concept so let us write it uniquely sir what is all of this don't worry i will explain each and everything to you so what is it this is called as unique cancellation uh, uh, automatic cancellation a unique method developed by fry okay so even in cancellation there are three possibilities cancellation on due date early cancellation or even a late cancellation and then there is this last thing called as correct extension then you have something called as extension even in this extension there are three possibilities extension could be on due date extension early what is extension so instead of today please extend it by two more months so suppose i have a contract with bank that after three months Uh, we i will enter into a forward contract and complete it now instead of 3 months now i want to extend it to 5 months so what is that extension of contract right now on the day 3 months are com getting completed i may go to the bank and say i want to extend it for 2 months extension on due date before only i come to know that i want to extend extension early 
and then yes so this is called as early extension and then finally there will be something called as a late extension samjigudu got it guys so this is how fadai has developed the rules for all of this and now you and me what are we going to do we are going to do all questions on all of this delivery on due date delivery early delivery extension early extension on due date cancellation on due date early uh, early cancellation late delivery late extension late cancellation automatic cancellation all of this we will be doing via sums are you ready guys chalo so now i will pick up one one them one one of them and we will keep on completing what is fedai foreign exchange dealers association of india okay now there are few common rules of fedai which i think we will keep on discussing as and when we come but still i will want to write it here i will explain it to you when we come so common rule of fedai one of the common rules of fadai is that whenever a bank enters into a forward transaction bank enters into a forward transaction with a customer it will cover itself with an opposite transaction so suppose if the customer needs to buy dollars from the bank so bank is selling dollars in the other interbank market bank will do an opposite transaction immediately so suppose a customer suppose you are my customer wani you are my customer you come to me and say that sir after 3 months i need 1 lakh dollar so basically you want bank to sell dollar to you after 3 months bank will immediately enter into a purchase contract interbank purchase contract of 1 lakh dollar so on the day on the day what will happen i will purchase 1 lakh dollar from the forward market which i have already entered i will sell 1 lakh dollar okay my hisab zero my balance zero so fadai says that always the bank should cover itself so that on the day the customer doesn't face any problem because on the day if customer comes and the bank says oh i uh, there is a shortage i don't have 20000 dollars uh, i just have 90000 dollars 10000 dollars i will give you tomorrow so customer should not have any problem when will customer have not have any problem when i am totally covered i will immediately cover myself cover give it to you game over <laughs> so that is what they say that fedai says that always cover or offset your forward transaction should i dictate it to you usually what i do is when i am explaining the question that is when i uh, tell you this rule but now that we have discussed and you've understood hey guys please confirm are you understanding so far whatever little whatever we have done yes chalo so now let's write this down rule 1 you can say so to say rule 1 what is that covering or offsetting the transaction other things as and when they come we will write don't worry covering or offsetting the transaction what what is the rule i'll dictate whenever a bank enters into a forward transaction it has to it has to enter into a opposite transaction in interbank market the whole point being that the customer should not suffer in interbank market okay the example i can give you what i gave you all we can just write down so that when you are revising you have it with you suppose there is mr a comes to bank 
he wants to sell dollars forward sell dollar to bank so what will the bank do how will the bank cover itself correct it will enter into a forward purchase in interbank Got it, guys? So again, okay, try and understand. Bank is selling, and therefore here it is purchasing. Think from bank's angle. Bank has to cover. Whenever bank, remember this. Bank has to cover. So this may sound a little confusing. Mr. A wants dollar. Bank sell dollar. Okay. What will it do in forward? It will forward purchase dollar for the same duration, same amount. Got it, guys. Mr. A wants dollars, so bank will sell dollar. Now, if bank wants to sell dollar after three months, bank will enter into a forward purchase for three months. Got it? Yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. So this is three months. This is three months in interbank. Done. Sure. We will now start with the question and answer. See now. ICAI. Let's open this. This is your Alma Matar. This is your Gita Bible Quran. ICAI module. Whenever any forward contract is entered, normally it meets any of the following fates. Delivery under the contract. Cancellation. Extension. But delivery also has three things. On due date early late cancellation also has three things on due date early late extension also has three things on due date early late right so now we are going to do all of this uh, one by one first is delivery on due date we have solved so many questions by delivery on due date you don't have to do anything so the bank enters into a forward contract for two months selling us dollar at 65.5 on 31st July, spot rate is whatever. We don't care. Our transaction is freezed at 65.5. Do I need to explain anything here? The answer is no. Now comes the game changer. Guys, the game changer. Full focus, full attention, everybody. Because this is going to be very important. Please keep on telling me whether you guys are understanding or not. Because it is going to be very, very crucial okay chal we are starting pay attention early delivery early delivery okay now what is early delivery mean first let's write that down so first the second part was early delivery can anybody tell me what does early delivery mean sir as the name suggests delivery before the due date absolutely correct When Kasma wants to settle the forward contract before the stipulated due date. Before the stipulated due date. Done. Okay. Chalo, let's have a question from your module. Let's start with the question from the module. And it is illustration 4. Early delivery. I hope you guys have written this. When customer wants to settle the forward. It could be purchase, sale, whatever. 
before the stipulated duty. That's the catch word. Start. On 1st October, Hmm. On 1st October 2015, Mr. X, an exporter, enters into a forward contract with BNP Bank to sell US dollar 10, 1 lakh on 31st December at 65.4. However, due to request of the importer, Mr. X received the amount on 28th November 2015. What was the due date? What was the due date? 31st December 2015. Okay. When is the... Uh, due to the request of importer, Mr. X received. When is he receiving? Oh, oh on December 20... On November 28. One month earlier. Okay. Mr. X requested the bank to take the delivery of the remittance on 30th November. That is before one month due date. The interbanking rates on November are as follows. Spot is given. One month premium is given. If the bank agrees to take delivery, then what will be the net inflow to Mr. X? Assuming that the prevailing lending rate is 18%. All I need is just two minutes. Read the question. Everybody, without fail, read it at least twice. Your time starts now. Come on. Okay, so everybody has read the question. Now we will try to solve it. But before solving, we should know what is happening in life. Let's start. On 1st October, let's make a timeline. The timeline is going to be ultra crucial. Please pay high attention to it. It is not a normal timeline. Pay attention. On 1st October, X, an importer, enters into a forward contract with bank to sell dollars on 31st. Customer is going to sell. He is an exporter. So, he will get dollars. He is going to sell it to the bank. Bank is going to purchase. Bank is going to purchase. What is going to be banks? Counter or cover sell dollar forward. Just giving you an idea. Chalo, let's write it down. Let's write it down. Let's write it down. 1st October. 1st October. What happens? Mr. Exporter enters into a forward contract with BNP Bank to sell dollar 1 lakh. Sell dollar 1 lakh. Who? Customer. On 31st December at 65.4, rate is freezed. December 31, 2015. Let's write down the date. 31st December 2015. At the rate 65.4. Done. Done.
टुडे इज फर्स्ट ऑक्टोबर एंड थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसेंबर सो कैन आई से ऑक्टोबर नवेम्बर डिसेंबर थ्री मंथ फॉरवर्ड थ्री मंथ ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिटर्न टेल यूर फॉर द फर्स्ट लाइन डन नेक्स्ट we have to be very very patient when we are going to solve these kind of questions at times we may go over slow that's okay but understanding is more important please keep on confirming okay chalo done hope your book pen is with you and you are also writing if you are just listening blindly and blankly then i am sorry to say howsoever good i teach howsoever smart you are you will never be able to understand let me tell you point blank a paper and a pen is a must in order to understand this with you writing each and everything if 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 that is not possible stop the video now come back when you have all the distractions away and only you and me and module is there okay chalo let's start continue due to bank request of the importer mr x received oh wait 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 another thing would have happened on this day so what happened this is the bank so customer will go to the bank two months later three months later from today okay what bank would have done this is let's assume this as bank a what bank a would have done guys guys i'm asking you what bank a would have done tell me tell me what a bank a would have done this is the transaction which is done by customer with the bank what else now bank a would have done Correct. Can I say they would have covered the transaction, offset the transaction? How? Correct. So bank A here is going to purchase. So it will offset by selling in interbank. Very nice money. So bank A is purchasing. How will it offset? Or what you sell cover with bank B? Let's assume bank B. by sell dollar 1 lakh on at uh, th after 3 months after 3 months done deal closed which is 31st december 2015 deal closed yes or no yes done sir deal closed till here oh urshi my boy is there shubhash Brushi, bank A will sell to bank B, brother. Bank A is purchasing here. See, customer is selling to bank A. So bank A is purchasing, right? It will offset by selling. It will enter into a forward sell. It will enter into a forward sell. Brushi, did you get it, my boy? It will enter into a forward sell. Okay, okay, done. next however due to the request of the importer mr x received the amount on 28th mr x requested the bank to take the delivery of the remittance on 30th november oh now this customer comes to us on 30th november and he says please take delivery you can't do anything uh vani is asking sir what is the forward rate at which bank a will sell what is the forward rate of uh, forward sell they have not given can't tell they have not given it's okay 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 chal now on 30th november what is going to happen what is going to happen remember uh, your bank a is purchasing your bank b a is selling uh, if you want i can write here bank a purchase bank a sell correct okay got it got it correct bank a purchase bank a sell Hmm. Done. Rate at which it is going to sell, they have not given. Will not write. No problem. On thirtieth November now. Dum tana na na na. Dum tana na na na. Dum tana na na na. Dum dum. 
Now, what is going to happen? Mr. X comes and tells take delivery of the remittance. Now, what does Fadai say here? What does Fadai say? Fadai says, if customer comes early, give him at the rate that was promised to him. What was the rate promised to him? What was the rate promised to him? I am asking you guys. Tell me. Can I say 65.4? Fadai says, you have to honor the commitment that you have given to the customer, you have to cover, uh, you have to close the transaction at 65.4 even if he comes early. But sir, yes, you have to do it. No questions. You have to do it. Okay, sir. As you say. Okay, done. Got it, guys. Got it. Got it. So, we'll write this down. So far, what we have understood, let's write down. On 1-10-2015. Too many things happening in life. On 1-10-2015. Too many things happening in life. Okay. X our customer enters into forward cell with bank A dollar one lakh at the rate rupees 65.4 then bank A enters into a forward purchase with customer X basically enters into a forward purchase with customer X at the rate rupees 65.4 it also covers itself in interbank market bank A covers itself and enters into a forward cell with bank B. Got it? Done? Done till here? Okay. Now, what does Fadai say? What does Fadai say? If customer comes early, so Fadai rule number 2. Fadai rule number 2. I'll write it here. Please write down. If customer comes early, give him or receive from him at the original decided rate. At the original decided rate. Rushank, wait, wait brother, wait. Hmm. So, what is the original decided rate? Okay, so we will have to honor the transaction at the original rate. What is the original decided rate, guys? I am asking you. 65.4. So, we will write here. Yeah. 
we will write here that customer sell to bank A at the rate 65.4 dollar 1 lakh. Okay. Congratulations bank A. You have entered into a customer sell transaction. Now if customer is selling to bank A, bank A has to purchase at 65.4 compulsorily again i'm telling you compulsorily you don't have an option you are bounded by fdi rules if customer comes early give him or receive from him at the original decided rate full stop so okay done sir if you are saying so it's like icai icai whenever it decides you have to give exams you have no options <laughs> so what will happen now here to the bank A, bank A will purchase dollar one lakh at rupees sixty five point four. Now what will happen? Very good, Rishi. So now what will happen? Bank A has purchased. Dollar one lakh at the rate sixty five point four. Now, can you guess what is going to happen? Come on, guys. Any guesses what is going to happen? I'll tell you. If bank see now today is thirtieth November, bank has purchased this one lakh dollar because customer had told already that we are going to sell, but he was going to sell it after one month. We were prepared for that. That as soon as he will sell, we will purchase. And we will immediately sell it to bank B. But now the tables have turned. Guys, now the tables have turned. He has come early. Now what do I do with this dollar 1 lakh? This dollar 1 lakh is with me on 30th November. What do I do with this? <laughs> Fedai says sell this immediately. Sell this immediately. You cannot keep this with you. This is very risky. Sell this immediately in the spot. Sir, but... At what rate? Whatever is the rate prevailing, sell this immediately. Full stop. Okay, we'll do that, sir. So, when the customer wants to settle the forward contract, sorry, no. if the customer comes, give him or receive him at the original decided rate we have done. Now, what we have to do is enter into the opposite thing. So, if bank has purchased, it will immediately have to sell. Bank A will sell dollar one lakh at SPOT. What is the spot rate, guys? Is the spot rate given? Yes, it is given. But there are two spot rates available. Which one to take? So, again, think logically. Think logically. I have taught you all everything now. How to think logically? So, bank A is selling. The other interbank, think from the point of view of the bank. So, that other bank is the real bank here. Now, this bank A has become like the customer. This bank A has become like the customer. The other bank is the real bank. So, this bank A is selling. The other bank is buying. Buying is at the bid rate. What is the bid rate? Brothers and sisters, what is the bread rate? It is 65.22. Got it, guys. So, bank A will sell. Right. Other bank will buy at bid rate. And what is the bid rate, ladies and gentlemen? Correct. It is 
it is 65 point choo choo done 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 next hmm Now what is going to happen next? Now listen. On 30th November itself, on 30th November itself, bank purchased from customer, sold this immediately in the spot. So now he, he is free. But there is one tension going in his head. And that is after one month, see, total duration is of three months. After two months, this customer has come. Now he's his mind is running that after one month, I have already a forward sell outstanding. How do I offset that? So what will he do? Today he will enter into a forward purchase. So that forward purchase one month, forward sell game over on the due date. So today what he is going to do guys, he will have to enter into a forward purchase. So today itself, huh? today itself, on 30th, all of this is happening on 30th. What is going to happen? Bank A will enter into a forward purchase. Why forward purchase? Because his forward sell is outstanding. So, after one month, forward purchase, forward sell, matter settled. So, on 30th itself, we will have to enter into a one month forward purchase. At the rate, what is the rate? What is the rate? What is the one month forward purchase rate that is going on? Again, now bank today is going to enter into a forward purchase. So, it is. If bank A needs to purchase the other bank, which is the real bank, selling, selling at ASAC rate. So, at, at ASAC rate. What is the ASAC rate going to be? 65.27 plus 0 0.15, 65.42. Got it, guys? 65.42. Got it. Sixty-five point two seven plus point one five. Sir, even if the spot rate on thirtieth November given, do you have to take on twentieth November the date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's just a typing thing here and there. So nothing great. Got it, guys. So again, we will just write the logic here. Uh, the bank will sell at the rate. Asak rate at the rate asak rate. Got it, guys. Are you clear? All of this because of FedEx. Otherwise, internally we could have done something else, but it's okay. Now I don't want to discuss that and confuse you all. So it's okay. Are you clear? Done. So let's write down on 30th November. What did we do? Let's write down better because when you are going to revise, you know, things should be clear on 30th November 2015. What is going to happen? Mr. X, customer X. So easy life for him. Bank A will purchase from him as said by FedEx. So bank A purchases dollar one lakh from x at the rate rupees 65.4 done deal close then what happens to bank a guys bank a purchases 
dollar one lakh from X at the rate rupees sixty five point four. Okay, sir, clear with this. Okay, sir. Then two other things he does. After this, two more things he does. What? Sell spot on thirtieth November at the rate sixty five point two two dollar one lakh. Done. This is what we do did. Okay, then we offsetted the transaction which was outstanding there. So forward purchase. One month on thirtieth at the rate sixty five point four two. Got it? Just to give you an idea, we are selling other real bank buying other bank buying. At bid rate, so that you don't get confused. And here we are buying so other bank selling at a secret. Gotcha, everybody. Gotcha. Done. Dun 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 dun. Okay. Now, done. Now on the day, on the due date. Now customer is not there. Bank and inter bank is there. They will settle their transaction and game over. Now, because of this customer, hello. Because of this customer, I had to bear some loss. What loss you had to bear? Fadai, you are ask, you are telling to Fadai. Hey, Fadai. Because of this customer, I had to honor my transaction at sixty five point four, but immediately I had to sell it at sixty five point two two. I am losing the money here. Because of this customer, I had to enter into a forward purchase of one month. Who is going to recover that money from for me? So Fadai says, "Don't worry, don't worry. You can recover this loss from the customer. Hush. You can recover this loss from the customer. Now, how much is the loss?" Is going to be a very very crucial calculation. Again, students get confused here, but I will ensure you don't. Now pay attention. First thing that we have to see is something called as a swap loss. So a swap loss. So pay attention. What is a swap loss? I will be highlighting it with the yellow color. This is your swap loss. Now what is this? Because of the customer. On the day I had to spot sell, which was not planned. On the day I had to enter into a forward purchase, which was not planned. Both of these transaction has resulted into a profit or a loss, and based on that, I will have to take my decision as to whether I have to recover the money from the customer or not. And if you see here, there is a loss. How much loss? Very good, Rushi. The loss is approximately twenty thousand. How, sir? How, sir? I'll explain. I'll explain. Don't worry. So this is what is called as the swap loss.
swap loss that is loss on account of early delivery now what has resulted into a swap loss pay attention swap loss or it may also be a gain so on account of early delivery what happened on 30th november we did two things we did spot sell whenever you are going to sell you are going to get money so plus 65.22 at the same time we did one month forward purchase whenever you are going to purchase minus because money is going out so net loss is net loss is equal to 0.2 rupees per dollar how plus 65.22 minus 65.42 got it multiply by dollar 1 lakh finally i will get swap loss rupees 20000 gotcha everybody we will recover this from the customer we will tell the customer hey customer what you will pay us because of you yes got it guys got it so that we will recover from the customer don't worry we will not leave him we will not leave him we will not leave him mm. Mm. but there is another loss that he has uh, that we have incurred on account of him pay attention to this loss because this is usually misinterpreted by the students and what is this loss this is interest on outlay of funds what exactly is this i will explain you don't worry see now bank a was willing to purchase at the rate 65.4 on 31st december bank a was ready but because of this bugger who came early bank had to pay him 65.4 immediately correct but of that 65.22 was recovered immediately by spot selling it so that 18000 unnecessarily i had to incur extra for one month i was going to incur that 65.4 but after one month but now 18000 extra i have incurred that for that also bank is saying recover the interest opportunity cost from the customer fada is saying don't worry we will cap take care of everything so now this transaction will be a part of this transaction will be a part of interest on outlay of funds pay attention write down write down write down wow, what a sum for die you are great now interest okay just write it here swap loss to be recovered from customer <laughs> write it down baba to be recovered from customer
to be recovered from customer. Okay. Interest on outlay of funds also to be recovered. Don't worry. Sir, what if it was a profit? Then you can give it to the customer. Don't worry. Interest on outlay of funds. On date of early delivery. Extra payment. For one month at the rate. 18% interest. So, what is the loss? So, we will write here 65.4. I was going to give, but on the day, I had to unnecessarily give one month earlier. But that day only, I recovered 65.22 also. So, effectively, how much money got blocked? Rupees 18,000. Money blocked. Money blocked. So, therefore, 18,000 into 18% for one month. So, it will be 270. Correct. Rupees 270. Again, Recover from customer. Are we clear guys? Please confirm. Are we all clear? Got it? So, two things we lost. Yes. So, how much net are we going to the payment, pay to the customer? That also we will write down. Don't worry. So, net payment to customer yeah, net payment to customer as per the original 65.4 so at original rate 65.4 into dollar 1 lakh which is rupees 65 lakh 40 thousand ok then swap loss and then interest on outlay. How much was his swap loss? Please write down everybody. Uh, yes, guys. Clear, everyone? Totally clear? So, again, this requires practice. But hope you are clear till whatever we have done. Please confirm. 
writing say i'll share this with you uh, so you can write it later on that's not a problem but the main point is understanding we will have to understand have you understood so again the logically what all we have done early delivery till now all clear very nice early delivery what is going to happen in early delivery the customer will come early whatever rate is decided give it to him at that rate so here in this case we had to purchase the dollar because that was decided spot sell because of that spot sell we will have to now again have a one forward purchase because that interbank transaction is left open we cannot leave anything open so that other transaction is open so that is open close that that spot sell and that closing of that open transaction is called as a swap loss and because the outlay of funds has happened today i have lost my opportunity cost of 18000 into 18% that also i will recover from my client everything i have explained you everything is also written here so that if any a time you want to refer everything is written here baki you can let me know and i will help you with any doubts any time next we will move on so we are done with two things we are done with early delivery and we are done with so let's keep on ticking we are done with on time delivery on due date done early delivery done late delivery later now we will come to consolation so let's write down concept what is the concept cancellation but customer's position with bank will be kept open right no customer's position is closed that is offset already brother that is closed the moment he comes here which position this position with the bank of that uh, yeah all the positions are now closed rushi my boy all the positions are closed now if you observe all positions are closed so now the customer is not going to come back closed from all ends 65.4 we have already honored it on that date even though the rate is not prevalent anyway. No, 65.4 rate is prevalent. The fact that we have agreed to purchase it at 65.4, even though there is no rate on that date, that shows that we have offset this transaction. Game over. So, done. Let's move on. Now, we start with the cancellations. So, concept is cancellation on due date. Cancellation on due date. Now, if customer comes and tells you suppose uh, you are the bank i am the customer i come to you and say that okay on the due date i come to you and say that no i don't want your forward purchase i don't want the forward sale i don't want to enter into any transaction with you i am cancelling the transaction you will feel infuriated you will feel like what the hell but customer is the king so whatever customer is saying we'll have to do so what does fadai say in this case fadai says that see Cancellation usually happens in two situations. What could be the reason of cancellation? So let's write down that also. Reason of cancellation. What could be the reason of cancellation? So there could be two reasons of cancellation. One of them is that customer is getting a better deal at spot rate. It is very much possible. So he will say, I am purchasing at the spot. I don't want the old ones. So, customer, customer getting a better deal in spot on due date than already booked, then all 
ready booked forward so one deal is this and the other may be that genuinely the import export transaction has been called off if export or import transaction if export or import transaction deal is cancelled so there is a very high probability that either of yeah so now either of the reasons whatever is the reason if they have said that they have to cancel means we have to cancel so how do you cancel this for this we have another illustration called as illustration 5 everybody come to illustration 5 again as usual i will give you all 2 minutes to read the question we will read it together and then we will move on Chal. on 15th of january you as a banker booked a forward contract for us dollar 250000 for your import customer deliverable on 15th march 15th january to 15th feb to 15th march 2 months on due date, customer request you to cancel the contract. On this date, quotation for US dollar in the interbank is as follows. Assuming that flat charges for cancellation is 100, exchange margin is 0.1. Determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer. Chalo. Please do one, one favor. Please read the question twice and then we will start together. Chalo, let's start. Okay, now again, full, same way, full focus. Earlier delivery is still difficult. Late delivery, I mean, cancellation is some easy, some easy. Come on, let's start. Now, what is it? Same way we will draw the timeline of the question. 
on 15th january you as a banker booked a forward contract what does this mean you booked a forward contract for import customer deliverable what does this mean let's write down let's write down first let's understand the meaning of this what is you tell me i am waiting for you guys to comment what does this mean you as a banker book forward contract for import customer what does this mean you have to tell me come on i am waiting for 2 minutes uh forward sell for 2 months from banker's point of view see for your import customer deliverable means customer is importer start thinking when the customer is importer after 3 months 2 months whatever is the date he will require dollars to send it to the to his exporter so he will have to purchase the dollars so if he has to purchase the dollars bank will have to sell the dollars bank will have to sell the dollars that's it bank sell dollars customer purchase dollars this is what it means let's write it down means our customer is importer that is he will require foreign currency in future that is one month forward purchase banker one month forward sale okay okay vani i trust you please write down guys please write down this is a very important thing because this is the start hmm done we should think from see think from either ways you think from banker or think from customer either ways you will get the correct answer because one if banker you are thinking if it is forward sale then it is purchase for the customer so that's okay chalo let's start now rushi yeah on 15th of january we start on 15th of january you as a banker booked a forward contract for us dollar Two lakh fifty thousand for your import customer deliverable on fifteenth March at sixty five point three four five zero. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We will quickly make the timelines. We will quickly make the timelines. So on fifteenth March, on fifteenth March. Hmm. What is happening? Customer forward purchase, banker forward sale. customer comes to us for one month forward purchase at the rate rupees 
right right now this is the first line of dollar 250000 so customer has come to us one month forward purchase 65.345 dollar 250000 done sir then continue on due date customer request you to cancel the contract oh boy <laughs> How can you do that customer? On this date, the quotation for US dollar in the interbank is as follows. Now, what happens is he comes to us on due date. When is the due date? <laughs> on 15th January, you as a banker booked a forward contract. So, 15th Jan. And then 15th March. So two months forward. Okay, okay. My bad. Two months forward. Okay, done. Mm. Mm. Due date, customer cancels, customer cancels, now what is to be done, think, 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 think what is to be done. He has cancelled it. On due date only he comes and cancels. What will happen? It's a simple thing. What will we do? We will sell him. See. Assume that the transaction goes through. Then what you would have done? He is saying I would have purchased. Correct? So, now. Customer. Two month forward purchase. Assume that the transaction is gone. Is going ahead. So, you have purchased. Correct. But I don't want this. Correct. Immediately sell it. Spot sell it. Hisab zero. The transaction cancel. So you have just have to do the reversal on spot date. All you have to do is the reversal on spot date and spot rate. <laughs> Got it guys? Got it? So. So. Assume transaction goes through. Therefore, customer will purchase dollars, but he doesn't want it, so sell at spot, that is in cancellation reverse the original transaction on the date the customer on the date the customer comes to bank for cancellation comes to bank for cancellation got it guys easy busy 11 squeezy so now now Customer sell spot. Customer sell spot. Tell me, what is the rate? Customer is going to sell spot. Bank is going to purchase. At what rate? At bid rate. Got it, guys. Easy peasy. So, therefore, working note. Calculation of customer. Hey guys, please confirm. Are you clear? Vani, Rushi, please everybody confirm. Calculation of customer sell spot. Rushi, have you seen my fate of forward contract Hindi wala lecture or what? Or you are listening this to the first time for the first time? Vani, tell me, are you clear? 
कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कस्टमर सेल स्पॉट ऑन ड्यू डेट ऑन ड्यू डेट विच इज फिफ्टीन मार्च सो वट विल इट बी कस्टमर इज सेलिंग मीन्स बैंक इज बाइंग एट बेड रेट स्पॉट बेड रेट विच इज सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू नाइन जीरो जीरो नाउ कम्स अ वेरी क्रुशियल पॉइंट दिस इज वेर स्टूडेंट्स मेक अ मिस्टेक इन दिस काइंड ऑफ सब सो फार इट वॉज इजी Yes. So far, it was easy. Now look here. They have told that there is a exchange margin at the rate zero point one zero percent. Ah, uh, Rushi, I think you are confused. Please ask your question. I'll clear you. confusion yeah okay now what rushi is saying rushi you are thinking from the bank's angle that bank has covered in the market and all of that that is not required because what they are saying here is we just have to determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer so if cancellation charges are to be payable by the customer what bank has done in the interbank market will not matter at all so that's not a problem okay chalo now here look here hmm exchange margin is 0.1% think from customers angle see there is one thing very clear in case of margin when customer is selling then the margin will be deducted when customer is buying the margin will be added i'll give you an example suppose you are buying up uh, do you remember my examples of mutual fund load i'll give the same example suppose you are buying suppose you are the customer okay and as a customer you are buying shares there can be two situations one you are buying shares and other you are selling shares now suppose if you are buying shares hello suppose if you are buying shares what is it, what is going to happen suppose if you are buying shares what is going to happen suppose you buy rupees 1000 per share at the rate 200 shares so you will have to pay rupees 2 lakh correct now when you are buying you have to pay pay rupees 2 lakh plus pay brokerage so margin is added margin is added margin is added but 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 guys 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 in the other flip situation when selling of shares is there then what will happen rupees 1000 shares at the rate say 200 shares are sold so rupees 2 lakh to be received but that will be deducted by brokerage so reduce brokerage reduce brokerage now here what is happening customer is selling so customer is selling means less margin at the rate 0.1% Sixty-five point two nine into point one percent. Okay, so it will be point zero six five two nine. So it will be sixty-five point two two four seven one. got it yeah so same way when you are buying dollar add margin so we can write this also 
कस्टमर बाइंग डॉलर एंड मार्जिन कस्टमर सेलिंग डॉलर लेस मार्जिन प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके टन सो वॉट इज द रेट सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू टू फोर सेवन वन नाउ फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल नाउ फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल फ्रॉम द कस्टमर्स एंगल Now, what is happening from the customer's angle? Tell me, guys. What is happening from the customer's angle? So, your purchase is freezed. That is at sixty-five point three four five. Now you are selling. Customer is selling. And what is the selling rate now? Sixty-five point two two four seven one. So whatever is this, so purchase is already freezed at the rate sixty-five point three four five. selling is at the rate oh, sorry 65.22471 got it in this situation customer is not <coughs> He is buying dollar at sixty five point three four five and selling spot at sixty five point two two four seven one. Margin adjustment, Vani. Where is the margin? Margin adjustment. So he is selling at sixty five point two nine, but he will not get sixty five point two nine. Margin will be deducted, and that net you will get sixty five point two two four seven one. Yeah. So selling you are plus. Selling you are getting money. Purchase gone. So this will become a loss. How much loss? Minus zero point one two zero two nine per dollar. Multiply by two lakh fifty thousand. Loss is equal to. थर्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड जीरो सेवन टू पॉइंट फाइव राइट टन सो दिस इज द लॉस दैट द कस्टमर विल हैव टू बैट बट देर इज ऑल्सो समथिंग कॉल्ड एज अ फ्लैट चार्जेस हाउ मच हंड्रेड जस्ट एड इट नथिंग एल्स दिस इज टू बी एडेड एड फ्लैट चार्जेस रुपीज हंड्रेड सो दिस विल बिकम देर फॉर टोटल लॉस ऑफ कस्टमर Will become rupees thirty thousand one seventy two point five. Got it, guys? Any question? Easy peasy. So this this basically concept is called as exchange difference. When you offset the transaction, when the customer offsets the transaction, it is called as exchange difference. Got it? So we'll write down. the last thing that therefore in cancellation on due date see in early cancellation you paid swap difference and interest on outlay of funds in cancellation on due date in cancellation on due date you are paying the exchange difference all of this is summarized in the magic book just telling you so even if here you are not writing that's okay we have our magic book that will do the magic for you exchange difference okay what is it the customer takes an opposite position of forward and closes the deal by paying if loss or receiving if gain 
Got it, everybody? Any doubts? Done. What about banker's position in interbank market? You don't have to do anything because they have to. We have to answer from the customer's point of view, and that's what we will do. Okay, so Vrushi has a doubt. Vrushi brother has a doubt that sir, what about the banker's position of interbank? How is it offset? I'll tell you. See, the first assumption that we are saying here is that the customer, the customer assume that the transaction goes through. So, if the transaction goes through, what will happen? Two month forward purchase is there. So, it is as good as that customer is buying that from the bank, and if it is buying. The so bank is selling in the inter market. Bank is purchasing. So in the inter market, bank will purchase in the customer to the customer. He will sell inter bank and bank over. Bank will then sell it in the spot over transaction. That's how it works. So for the customer's angle, he bought it at the agreed price. He sold it in the market at spot. This is the difference. From the banker's angle, it is as good as a typical transaction which is taking place. So, from the banker's angle, there is no per, uh, you know profit or loss. From the customer's angle, it is which is bearing. Got it? So, in this federal rule, we need to customer focus on customer only. By default, it will be customer only because for the bank, it is like a normal transaction. Because it is assumed in cancellation that customer is going through with the transaction and then he will offset it in the spot. So if he is going ahead with the transaction, he is purchasing it with the bank, bank will sell it in the interbank. In short, the bank's position will close. So bank has no tension in cancellation. Customer has the cancellation charges and he will have to bear that because he will have to, uh, you know, offset it in the spot, so to say. Got it? Got it? Vrushi, got it? Clear, clear, great, 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 great. So, so with this, we complete another concept, cancellation on due date. Cancellation on due date. Now got it. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, so we are done with cancellation on due date. And, and... Uh, so we are clear that in cancellation on due date or any cancellation, exchange difference is to be borne by the customer. In case of bank, he is not concerned at all. In cancellation, he is tension free because it is assumed that the customer goes ahead with the transaction. So if he goes ahead with the transaction, bank is done with the customer, he will offset it with the interbank. The customer then has to offset the position of the loss or gain customer will bear. Game over. Next is early cancellation. This was cancellation on due date. Now early cancellation. Okay. What is going to be early cancellation? We will start with an illustration for this and it is illustration number 6. Let's start. You as a banker has entered into a 3 months forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD 1 lakh at the rate of 47.25. However, after 2 months your customer comes to you and requests the cancellation of the contract. On this date, quotation for AUD in the market is as follows. Spot 1 month forward. Determine the cancellation charges payable by the customer. Now seems so easy. All you have to do is just make it on the timeline and things will automatically work. You have entered into a 3 months forward contract. You as a banker has entered into a 3 month forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD 1 lakh. Customer is selling. You are purchasing. So let's start. Date is not given. <laughs> so 3 month. So customer is there, he enters into a 3 month, hello, he enters into a 3 month forward contract with your customer to purchase AUD, banker purchasing, customer selling.
in case of cancellation it is only the customer who is going to lose so always think from customer's point of view okay rushi my boy yeah so 3 month forward sale contract of how much aud 147.25 on due date what is going to happen on due date no before due date only this person comes no however after two months <laughs> so after two months only this customer comes and says after two months your customer comes to you and request cancellation on this date the quotation for aud in the market is as follows now what we will say him you will say him, okay this is a case of early cancellation we will same assume that you are going to per, you are going to sell us so do a reverse transaction after one month one month is left no one month is left no so that way so to cancel or to offset bank will tell customer to bolo what will happen forward sale will be offset by forward purchase but not now after one month so we will tell customer you please enter into a one month forward purchase Ten, 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 ten. You please enter into a one month forward purchase. Please enter into a one month forward purchase. Gotcha, everybody. Yes, sir. Gotcha. Done. So, chalo, let's close the deal. After two months, what will happen? Customer enters into a two month, sorry, one month forward purchase. One month forward purchase. So, how much is it? How much is the one month forward purchase? You want to purchase, bank will sell at 47.5200. Customer purchase, bank sell at ask rate at 47.5200. Done. I think the deal is clear. So as soon as he comes, I will tell him, don't worry. Immediately buy a one month purchase. Game over. Chalo. Tata. Bye bye. He'll go. Okay. Done. Okay. Done. So his forward sale is already booked. Is forward purchase now we have booked for him. There is no margin in this question. So it becomes easy. So for customer enters into a one month forward purchase. 47.5200 minus 47.52. Forward sale. 47.25 plus 47.25. Will result into a 
लॉस पर एयूडी रुपीज लॉस पर एयूडी सो रुपीज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन पर एयूडी मल्टीप्लाय बाय डॉलर वन लैक विल गिव अस रुपीज ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड so this is loss of customer please write down please write down so see what all we are done let's keep a note no what all we are done chalo let's keep a note here just a moment ah guys what all we are done we are done we are done yeah are we done cancellation on due date yes sir are we done can early cancellation Yes sir. Are we done delivery on due date? Yes sir. Early delivery. Yes sir. Now we will go to extension, and we will do extension on due date and early extension, and then whatever late, late, late things are there that we will do directly by one sum. Will profit to bank be transferred to customer? Yes. Yes, Rushi. Sure. Now we go on to the next concept. okay and that is extension on due date on due date he comes and says i want to do extension so it's pretty simple it is as good as cancellation plus new extension contract this is this extension on due date or in extension in extension simple what happens is cancellation on due date plus new forward contract simple in extension the concept is simple very very simple sorry very very simple what is it cancellation on due date plus new forward contract please copy this down please copy this down come on written guys written what does extension mean it basically means that customer wants to execute it at a later date fair enough no problem we can write if you want we can write what happens in extension we have written what is extension you want i can dictate it to you write down extension means customer wants to execute the contract at later date okay so we will start with illustration 
we'll start with illustration 7 come on open wow all i see are illustrations are being done come on my boy let's start easy first do cancellation then do extension let's start suppose you are a banker of one of your export customers export customers will come to you and sell dollars bank will buy dollars Customer sell dollar has booked a US dollar forward cont sale contract for two months with you at the rate 65.2. Simultaneously, you covered yourself in interbank at 62.59. However, on due date after two months, your customer comes to you and requests for cancellation of the contract and wants extension of the contract by one month. On this date, the quotation is as follows. Determine the extension charges payable assuming margin of 0.1%. Ideally, you should solve this sum. With the knowledge now that you have got, ideally you should pause the video and you should solve this sum. I will go ahead with the flow, but ideally you should solve it. Chalo. What is this question? Extension on due date. Extension on due date. Suppose you are a banker and one of your export customers. So export customer will do forward sale. So export customer. Remember, in cancellation and extension, bank will not lose anything. So always think from customer's point of view. From the customer's point of view. Export customer. Two month forward sale. What dollar one lakh sixty five point two five two dollar one lakh. This is freeze freezed. Hmm. Now what will happen? Two months later, customer comes to you and cancellation. So this was a two months so extension on due date. He is coming. Two months, cancel plus extend. First, cancel. How do you cancel? How do you cancel? Reverse the transaction. So, two month forward sale. Purchase spot. How do you cancel? Reverse the original transaction. How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? So, two month forward sale 62.52. But now on the date only he had come. No? So, spot. So, it's like on, it's like this that the transaction is going through. So, bank is saying, I am going to sell you, boss. You are an exp uh, two month forward sale. So, he is telling you, sell it to me, man. I don't care. You sell it to me. But are, where do I get it from? I don't have. You purchase spot and then sell it to me. So, he is now purchasing at spot. <laughs> okay. Customer is purchasing. Bank is selling at a secret. Always, when you are clear with the concepts, things will always match. Don't worry at all, ever. 62.68 and then there is a margin of 0.1 percent okay so 62.68 minus 0.1 percent whenever customer is purchasing uh so bank is selling customer is purchasing whenever customer is purchasing add the margin add the margin so we know that okay 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 spot purchase so, when we go to the bank to purchase, bank will sell at ask rate. What is the ask rate? Just a moment. 68, sorry, 
Oh, trick question, trick question by ICAI. <laughs> so we are correct. In terms of concept, we are correct. Bank will sell at ask. But let me tell you the trick part here. They have purposely inversed the, they have purposely inversed the bid rate and ask rate. <laughs> Always ask is greater than bid. So, 62.72. Ask greater than bid. 62.72 ask. 62.68. Bid. Okay. So, from 62.72 minus 0.1%. So it will be how much? Sixty-two point six five seven two eight. Sixty-two point seven eight three. Oh, you are purchasing. So add, sir. Add. What you are doing, sir? Are you sleeping, sir? You want a coffee? Yes, yes. I want filter coffee. 62.72 plus 0.1 percent. 62.78272. Okay, 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 guys. Come back. 62.78272. Remember, up uh, customer purchasing. So if you want, I'll write that also for you. Customer purchase. Margin add. So, done. So, it will be how much? So, this is a loss. Point two six two seven two. Multiply by US dollar one lakh. Hmm. So works out to how much? Twenty six two seventy two. How are we done? Rushi, 26272. Now, extension is left. Cancellation is done. Extension is left. So, now extension. Extension will be, they want for, how much extension they want? By one month. Extend by one month. Extension by one month. Okay. So, let's start. So, it will be one month uh, forward sale again you will have to take a forward sale contract. So, one month forward sale. Let's start. One month forward sale. Remember, you are selling, customer selling, bank buying, bank is always buying at bid rate. What is the bid rate? 62.64, 62.64, whenever customer is selling, margin reduce. Margin reduce when customer selling 0.1%. So, this will become how much? 62.57736. This is a new contract. New contract. Got it? Done. Done, done, done. Done.
चल क्लियर नाउ सो एक्सटेंशन ऑन ड्यू डेट इज डन व्हाट इज लेफ्ट एक्सटेंशन बिफोर ड्यू डेट देन आफ्टर ड्यू डेट लेट कैंसलेशन लेट डिलीवरी ऑल ऑफ दैट विल डू इट टुगेदर इन द लास्ट सम ओके चलो नाउ वी आर ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द सेकंड लास्ट सम वाओ सो गुड ना slowly steadily we are now almost on the verge of completion extension but before due date extension before due date hmm. and that is what we call illustration 8 illustration 8 so let's start with the illustration 8 everybody focus everybody focus on illustration 8 very easy again so first extension before due date what we have to do first cancel then extend simple okay so we'll start suppose you as a banker entered into a forward purchase contract you are purchasing bank a customer is selling Dollar fifty thousand on fifth March with an export customer for three months at the rate fifty nine point six. On the same day, you also covered yourself in the market. See, we are not not concerned in case of extension and in case of cancellations. We are not concerned with the banker what he is doing. We are just concerned with the customer. However, on fifth May, your customer comes to you and requests extension. Of the contract on fifth July. On this date, fifth May, quotation for US dollar is as follows. Assuming a margin of zero point one percent on buying and selling, determine the extension charges payable by the customer and the new rate quoted to the customer. Okay, so extension is going to happen. Buying and selling both margin is zero point one percent. New rate that we have to quote to the customer also say. So now from fifth March to Fifth April, fifth May, fifth June. But customer comes on fifth May. Early asks for extension. Early extension. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. So fifth March. Okay. What happens? Customer comes for forward sale. Export customer will come for forward sale. customer for 3 months at the rate 59.6 Yes, guys. First, apply early cancellation, then new contract for remaining period. Awesome, Prushi, well done. Now, the this will expire on three months, no? So, March to April, April to May, May to June. So, fifth June. Okay, so what happens in fifth May? What happens? Due date, 
cancel after one month so how will you do how will you cancel on due date no not on due date earlier than due date early cancel plus extend cancel plus extend so what we will happen cancel what will you do one month forward purchase and extend when you want extension contract to 5th july so on 5th may 5th may to 5th june 15th to 5th july so extension will be for two month forward sale on 5th may this is what you need to do on 5th may this is what you need to do so let's start On 5th May, what we will do? Cancel. So, to cancel forward sale, due after one month, we will we will do one month forward purchase today that is 5th May we will do one month forward purchase today that is 5th May I have already written here because we have a forward sale after 3 months. But after 2 months we come. So now 1 month is left. So now what will happen? 1 month forward purchase. So customer purchase. Bank sells. At ask rate. Okay. What is the one month forward sale? Mm, on 5th May, we need a, on 5th June, we need forward. So ask, ask is 59.2425. This is very crucial. Guys, if you don't understand this thing, no. There is for sure going to be a mistake. So please take care of this. Customer is purchasing at 0.1%. Life becomes so easy when concepts are clear. Isn't it? So 59.2425 plus 0.1%. 59.30. 17. 59.3017. Clear. Deal clear. Now, what are the final charges that he had to pay? Cancellation charges, so to say. Forward sale. Forward purchase. His sale was freezed at 59.6. His purchase now is at 59.3017. He has made a profit. Woohoo! How much? Yeah, point two nine eight three. Multiply by all of this for fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand. So it will be rupees one four nine one three. Got it? Gain to customer. Done. And now do the extension. Do the extension. How the extension is to be done? We are written in the summary only. He wants on 5th May the uh, transaction to be executed on 5th July. May to June, June to July. Two month forward sell. Original, right? So, two month forward sale. 5th May 
fifth July. What is happening? Forward sale. Customer sell. Bank buy. Bank will buy at the bid rate. So it will become yes, fifty nine point six three. Customer is selling. Margin to be reduced fifty nine point six three minus point one cent. Fifty nine point five seven zero four. This is the new extension contract. Acha, everybody, please, please, all yours. Any doubts, guys? Please confirm. Are we all clear? Totally, totally. Please confirm, guys. Because now we are just left with the last sum, and almost the last concept: early cancellation, cancellation before due date. All of those are done. Now just the late things are left, which will be managed by ICI through one sum itself, and will be through. Sure. Yes, done, done, and done, done. Okay, Wani has a question. Wani, sir, one, sir, can you explain what to do about cover contract in case of early cancellation? Is it treating like cancellation on due date? Yes, absolutely. So in extension also the same thing will happen. So the cover will not get affected at all because it is assumed that customer will come on the due date, will do what he is required to. So suppose here if there is a forward sale, so. If here there is a forward sale, the customer will do a forward sale. For that, he will. He has already purchased. He has already entered into a one-month forward purchase. On due date, he will do a forward purchase, forward sale to the bank, interbank transaction will also happen. So that will happen the way it was. And now we come to the last concept called as cancellation, automatic cancellation, late cancellation, all cancellation. Let's write it down. And the most challenging one as well. Need all your focus here, everybody. Look into my eyes, everyone. Automatic cancellation. Okay. So, no. What is automatic cancellation? So, if the customer does not come at all. Suppose the due date is 5th June. 5th June, we expect him to come. Suppose the customer does not come at all. You wait till 6th, you wait till 7th, you wait till 8th. After 8th, you will not entertain the client. But till 8th, for 3 days, Fedai says that even if customer comes within those 3 days after the due date, Still honor his commitment. Still honor his commitment. Fair enough. So that is the concept of automatic cancellation. Previously it used to be 15 days. Now they have reduced it to 3 days. Let's write down. If the customer. If the customer does not come. Till 3 days. After due date, three, three days after due date, the forward contract stands automatically cancelled. Stands. automatically cancelled chalo let's start come to illustration 9 with all the focus you can 
pause the video if you are not focused please come with all the focus in your life come let's start okay before that just to give you an idea guys uh, i hope you have visited our website i hope you have visited our website webuk.in i'll telling you why because there are lot of good things that we have added especially it will be helpful to you for your examinations wait i'll show it to you okay suppose you visit this website webuk.in you can click on to the test series say you can click on to the final test series product type say mcq test okay just an example and once you go into this mcq test once you give this thing fill in you are eligible for free mcq test okay for afm for fr for audit for dt for everything or idt everything we have put in so just try to give it once i'll give you the code if you want uh i think the code i have is what let's try so i do is add to cart i have to you know log in and everything but just try whenever available chalo now we are coming to illustration 9 focus okay so an importer booked a forward contract with his bank on 10th april for us dollar 2 lakh due on 10th june at the rate 64.24 done the bank covered its position in the market at 64.28 wait 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 first two lines we have understood it is better we write it down <laughs> it is better that we write it down so on what happened on 10th april importer booked a forward contract with bank so on 10th april the there is a customer who came to us on 10th april there is a customer who came to us and booked a he was an importer so basically a buy contract he will need to buy dollars and send it to america so 10th april us dollar buy contract for 10th june two month forward buy at the rate Sixty-four point four. Hmm. And bank covered at the rate sixty-four point two eight. Listen, listen, listen. Let's write the bank thing also here itself. So there is a bank. Let's say there is a bank X. If customer is taking a two month forward buy, this bank is giving a two month forward sell. So two month. forward sell at the rate 64.4 and then they have said that the bank is covering itself so cover position cover come on charlie check 1 2 3 cover the position so cover position bank y say we are covering it with bank y we are covering the position with bank y we are covering the bank position with bank y so now bank y what will happen it is entering into a two month forward purchase at the rate at the rate 64.28 at the rate 64.28 listen now properly customer buy bank sell bank cover forward buy got it forward purchase at the rate 
first line is what we have covered. Exchange rate for interbank market on 10th June and 13th June were. So, this is just the rate given. Exchange margin at the rate 0.1%. Done. Interest on outlay of funds 12%. Importer request rate. So, this question will have exchange difference. This question will have swap loss. This question will have interest on outlay of funds. You name it and it's there. Sure, let's start. The importer requested on 14th June for extension of contract. This has extension with the due date on 10th of August. Now, this is a typo error by ICAI. So, please write down your 13th August. Because if he comes on 14th August, 14th August, 14th June, 10th April to 2 months. So, 10th June it is expiring from 10 to 11, 12, 13. Till 13th June we will may wait. If he comes on 14th June, if he comes on 14th June, we will give him a choke slap. Yeah. Or we will give him a rock bottom. So, he cannot come on, in short, he cannot come on 14th. He has to come on 13th. Got it? Okay. So, this is 13th. For extension of contract. Okay. Rate should be rounded off for 4 decimals in 0 0.0025. Okay. On 10th June, bank swaps by selling spot and buying one month forward. Okay. Calculate cancellation rate. Okay. Now, let's start. What happens is this. See, ideally, he should have come on 10th June because we are ex the, uh, the whole contract is expiring on 10th June. Correct? So, let's write down here. Due date. is 10th June. Due date is 10th June. Due on 10th June. So, due date is 10th June. Please confirm. Are you guys with me? Yes. Not, he should have come down 10th June. But this bugger comes on 13th June. Oh, jeez. My goodness gracious. Now, just imagine. If this is a question, we know that he has come on 10th, 13th June. But think from the banker's point of view. Boy, banker does not know, know that he is going to come on 13th June. 10th June, the due date has come. I am waiting. Now he will come. Now he will come. Now he will come. He is not coming. 10th June, the date has gone and he has not come. What will happen? There is going to be few things which automatically by default we will have to do. Which we will have to do. Because he has not come on 10th June. Fadai says wait till 13th June. But Fadai also says that okay, but your due date has come. Your due date has come. Right? So, now on 10th June, this bank Y is waiting for me now. See, ideally I was planning to forward sell to the customer he was planning to buy. Once I sell it, how do I sell it? I will have to buy it from the bank Y, sell it to the customer. On that 10th June, bank Y will sell it to me. I cannot say anything. Bank Y will sell it to me for sure. Yes, that is going to happen. So, now I will dictate it to you. Don't worry. So, on 10th April, what has happened? Customer has come to Bank X for Customer is doing forward buy. Bank X forward sell then from bank x to bank y bank x to bank y forward purchase right so customer is doing for forward buy bank x is doing forward sell with bank y it is doing forward purchase on 10th June, customer does not come. Oh, now, what will happen? Interbank 
ट्रांजेक्शन विल हैव टू बी ऑफसेट फर्स्ट इंटर बैंक ट्रांजेक्शन विल हैव टू बी सेटल्ड विल हैव टू बी सेटल्ड यू कैन नॉट से नो टू इंटर बैंक इंटर बैंक विल से नो आई डोंट केयर विद योर फ्राई रूल्स दैट वेट फॉर थ्री डेज एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट आई वांट माय मनी i want the contract to be executed your honor is what the bank why will say the bank why will say sorry i'm just getting into the uh, the character i i hope uh, you understand that's how it is bank why says i want my transaction to be executed so what is the transaction two month forward purchase no worries no worries no worries so bank why will sell basically so see here bank x forward sell with customer and bank x this is again <laughs> little confusing see here we will better to write it down better to write it down customer enters into a forward कस्टमर एंटर्स इन टू अ फॉरवर्ड बाय किसके साथ विद बैंक एक्स व्हाट अबाउट बैंक एक्स बैंक एक्स एंटर्स इन टू अ फॉरवर्ड सेल विद कस्टमर एंड आल्सो एंड आल्सो Bank X enters into a forward purchase with Bank Y. So Bank Y will now sell to Bank X. So this is Bank X forward purchase with Bank Y. So now what will happen? He has come. He has come. Who bank Y? What has happened with bank Y? So bank X enters into a forward purchase with bank Y. Means bank Y will sell to us to bank X at whatever rate is decided. So he has come now. What to do? Execute. First write it down. Before I move ahead, write it down because otherwise overheads. So please write this down. Write this much down first. Come on. okay so we are done sir now bank will come now bank uh, y will come and sell boss let's execute the deal bank x enters into a forward purchase so bank y will sell hmm. so bank y or let's write down bank x purchases forward from bank y at what rate 64.28 because that is what was decided done now listen carefully this execution of contract will be done this this thing will be done now suppose if i am bank x bank x purchases forward from bank y now i have purchased this 1 lakh dollar forward i have purchased this what do i do of this 1 lakh dollar my plan was i will purchase it and i will sell it to the customer and then customer will buy from me but that customer bugger has not come 
What do I do of this? You tell me what do I do of this, guys? You tell me what do I do of this? Correct. Cannot keep it with yourself. You will have to immediately sell it off. So, so because now the customer has not come, I will have to do a spot selling. I will have to do a spot selling. Spot sale on 10th June of this forward purchase. I will have to do a spot sale. At the rate, hello, hello, at the rate, what is the spot sale? 10th June. The today is 10th June, huh? 10th June, spot sale. So if you are selling, bank is buying, bank is buying at the bid rate 63.8. At the rate 63.8, right? So spot sale means bank buying always at bid rate, always at bid rate. Got it, sir. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Done. Done, done, done. So, spot sale is done. So, transaction close here. Yes. Transaction with bank Y close. He comes. I He sells to me. I purchase from him. Bank Y goes. Now, what do I do of these dollars? One lakh dollar is in my hand. I will spot sell. Done. Matter close there. Now, Fadai says that even if the customer comes on 13th of June, you have to execute his contract. Now, I don't have an outstanding or a cover position for 13th June. Enter into a cover position for 13th June. Yes, that's the real catch. That's it. This is a thing that students don't understand. But I'm sure you now are clear with the flow. Because our base concepts that we have developed are so strong, trust me, this is nothing less than a very, very easy thing for you now. Got it, guys? So, spot sell and the matter closes. But if he comes on 13th June, I will have to do the transaction. If, I have, if, if he comes on 13th June, there is a forward buy with him. I have to sell him the dollars. But from where will I sell the dollars to him? I don't have the dollars. Enter into a forward purchase for 13th June. <laughs> okay. So now forward purchase. Who will do? Bank X. For on 10th June. For 13th June. Got it? Got it guys. So now I, this is like a cover. This is like creating a cover. Cover. If that person comes, that bugger comes then. Because of that bugger, so many things I have to do. That's it. That's how it works. So now tell me what is going to be the rate. The rate is going to be like a very, very important game changer in your understanding. So tell me what is going to be the rate now. Forward purchase on 13th June. But we are entering on 10th June for 13th June. Tell me what is going to be the rate. Chalo, let's go to the question and let's see what will be the rate. Okay. So now let's start. We want to purchase forward. The other bank is going to sell at ask rate. Okay. Ask rate. Now which ask rate to take? Which ask rate to take? There are two. Spot June. Spot June 10th June or Spot June 13th June. Now, what is this Spot June? What is this Spot June? So, Spot June is after three days kind of a thing. This is like after three days kind of a thing. So, so now on 10th June, what is going to be the ask rate for this Spot June? It is going to be 63.95. Got it? Now, why are you not taking this rate, sir? Why are you not taking this rate? I'll tell you. This spot June tells me that even if he comes on 11th, even if he comes on 12th, even if he comes on 13th midday, this rate is applicable for all of the transactions. This specifically is of 13th June. 
Who knows he is going to come on 13th June only. If he comes on 12th June then, then that rate is not applicable. This rate is not applicable for 12th June. So for 12th June, this rate, this spot June, this is like a, a general rate that whenever he comes, you can give him this rate. And therefore, we will take spot June, spot June for ask rate 63.95. Are you understanding, guys? Got it, got it, got it. So again, here also we can explain the logic. We purchase bank sell at a secret. Here we can write we sell. Bank buying at bid rate. Chalo, done. Now that bugger comes on 13th June and asks for extension. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so now we will have to cancel and extend. Late extension, late cancellation. So now here, what is going to happen? Customer comes. What is going to happen? Extension. Extension is going to happen. Cancel plus extend. So just write down extension is going to happen. Oh. The diagram is complete. The question is still left. Hello, wait. Are you first clear with the whole diagram? Now, what is the extension rate that we'll see? But are you now clear with what all has happened? What all has transpired? Please write it down. Any doubts, please ask. If not, we'll move on. Shalom. Now, we are at the last stage, guys. Last stage. Just be so happy that we are at the last stage. Okay. Calculate. What is that last stage? And that is cancellation i mean calculation of all the things that ica has asked in the question and the first is cancellation rate tell me what is the cancellation rate What is the cancellation rate? Now, I'll tell you. See, all of the things will have to be from the customer's angle because who is going to bear all the cancellation cost and everything? The customer. Correct. So, now the customer will walk into the bank on 13th of June. When he walks into the bank on 13th of June, start thinking what is going to happen. Start thinking what is going to happen. So, he will walk. He will say that I want to cancel the contract and then extend it. So as soon as he says, I want to cancel, achha, cancel and extend. Now wait, I like it. As soon as he says, I want to cancel the contract. As soon as he says, I want to cancel.
customer comes tells that cancel and extend so now if he comes cancels and then he wants to extend then what will it be it will be cancellation so what will it be cancellation rate from customers angle from cash you will have to think from the customers angle so tell me what will it be you will have to think from the customers angle tell me now you have to think from the customer's angle what is going to happen so suppose now let's start thinking on 13th of june the customer will go to the bank and say i want to cancel as soon as he says cancellation what goes into your mind there is a reverse transaction which will cancel it there is going to be a reverse transaction which is going to be cancel it so let's reverse the transaction at what rate is going to be the cancellation rate chalo i'll i'll dictate to to you i'll dictate it got it guys i was waiting for you all perfect perfect so answers you have given is absolutely correct so on 13th of june i'll dictate it and then we'll connect it on 13th june the customer will go to the bank and say i want to cancel and extend the contract on 13 june the customer will go to the bank and say i want to cancel and extend the contract as soon as cancellation has to happen what will happen on that day on 13th june it will have to be cancelled on 13th june correct so how will you cancel it you will assume that the transaction has happened what was the original transaction forward buy you will assume forward buy has happened so customer will buy but customer will say no i what do i do of this i don't want it spot sell reverse so that spot sell on 13th june spot sell on 13th june will become your cancellation rate will become your cancellation rate so let's write down that is open contract of customer that is open contract of customer will be cancelled open contract of customer will be cancelled by offsetting with opposite contract
correct so open contract of what is the open contract of customer so open contract of customer what is it what is it it is forward by so by basically it is forward by Okay, how will you close it? Offset or cancel with opposite transaction spot sell. spot sell offset or cancel with opposite transaction spot sell done done on 13th june so on 13th june What is happening? We have to cancel the open position. How will we do that? Come on. So there is a forward buy. We will have to do a spot sell. Tell me, what is the spot sell rate? If we want to spot sell, bank will buy. So we'll have to take the bid. Bid on 13th June is 63.68. Got it? So, see here. See here. Customer spot sell. That is bank buy at bid rate. Chalo, what is the bid rate on 13th June? Bid rate on 13th June 63.68. Correct. Now see here. Customer is selling. Customer is selling. Bank is buying. So if customer is selling, pay attention. Customer is selling. So what will happen? Margin is to be reduced in when sales happen. So 63.68 minus 0.1% margin. So. Okay. So, 63.68 minus 0.1 percent will become Got it? Now listen to me very carefully. Very important point they have made. Huh? Exchange margin at the rate 0.1% taken care of. See here. Rates to be rounded off to 4 decimals in multiples of 0 0.0025. Yes, that 
point has to be taken care of. So here we will say that. So what is happening here? 61 point, 61 point, 6, 1, sorry, 63 point, 6, 1, 6, 3, right? Now multiple of 0, 0, 2, 5 means either 2, 5, 5, 0, 7, 5, 1, 0. So this is closest to 7, 5. So the final answer will be 63.6175. Close to 0 0.0075. Done. So this is your cancellation rate. Basically, this is your cancellation rate. And what is it? 61.6175. Actually, you will get marks only when you write 63.6175. Done. First part is done. Now the second part. Are we clear till here? Yes. Amount payable on dollar 2 lakh. Now listen. This is basically exchange difference. See here. So there is a forward buy which we will have to execute. Then there is a forward sell, spot sell, which we will have to execute. As a result of this, what is the loss that we are going to make? We will have to write. So, we will write here, forward by, at original rate, forward by, at original rate. So, what is going to be the forward by at original rate? 64.4 64.4 now spot sell Okay, so buy minus spot sell plus. Got it? Okay, so now the difference. Tell me, what's the answer? So it will be 156,500 will be the cancellation charges. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Done. Please ensure that this working is very clear to you, huh, guys. Please ensure that this working is very clear to you. 
So this becomes your cancellation charges. चलो डन नाउ तो नेक्स्ट पार्ट स्वॉप लॉस गाइस प्लीज कीप ऑन कंफर्मिंग सो दैट आई डोंट फील दैट आई एम गोइंग फास्ट और स्लो और वट एवर डन द सेकेंड पार्ट इज ऑल्सो डन जस्ट राइट यूर कैंसलेशन चार्जेस Now, third is swap loss. Start thinking. Because the customer did not come on thirteenth of uh, on tenth of June, what you had to do? Because the customer did not come on tenth of June, what you had to do? You had to do a spot sale and you had to do a forward purchase. That is your swap loss. I hope now you are comfortable with this. i hope now you are comfortable with this right so third is swap loss swap loss so i will just i just write here when the customer when the customer did not come on 10th june we had to do two things what are they yes that will become a part of swap loss one spot sale and the other forward purchase right so spot sale and the other forward purchase right okay spot sale was at what price 63.8 purchase was at 63.95 so write down spot sale sale means pass money is coming in purchase means money is going out so we will get a swap loss minus 0.15 multiply by dollar 2 lakh we will get total swap loss 30000 got it guys total swap loss 30000 now the next next is interest on outlay of funds chalo let's calculate that also see this is the re cash flows which is affected 
So what has the cash flow affected? How has the cash flow been affected on 10th of June? Tell me, think and tell. How has the cash flow been affected? So see here, on 10th of June, because that customer did not come, what happened is I will have to purchase forward at 64.28, correct? And I sold it also. I sold it also at 63.8. So I got money. What about the forward purchase by bank on 10th June? This is this is it, brother. Rushang, pay attention. This is that 10th June forward purchase. Forward purchase. 10th June. This is that forward purchase, brother. Spot sale 10th June. And now, no, that position is not open. That position is not open. This forward purchase, this customer will now have to buy. Forward buy. He will have to buy this. So that position is not open. So my forward purchase I have taken on 13 June. Customer comes on 13 June. I will give it to him. The customer will have to buy. Now he will cancel it by spot selling. So that position is not open. Don't worry, brother. Chalo. Now we are calculating interest on outlay of funds. So interest on outlay of funds, this will be based on this bank X forward purchase and spot sale. Forward purchase and spot sale. So what is the forward purchase rate? It is 64.28. Spot sale 63.8. So essentially we have earned, I think, yeah, we are making a profit. We are making a profit of how much rupees, whatever it is, we will calculate. Because on this day, the real 64.28 I will have to pay to the bank and I have actually sold it also. So I have earned 63.8. So net extra that I have earned, I will earn interest till the customer comes. So let's write that down for three days probably. So next is interest on outlay of funds. So what is this? This is the real inflow or outflow. Real inflow and outflow. Huh? So real inflow and outflow on due date. On due date. That is money stuck on account of that. So, there are two things. Purchase forward 64.28, spot sale So 0.48. Oh, we are losing, losing money. Oh, I thought we are earning money. We are losing money. 0.48 we are losing. So minus 0.48. Ninety-six thousand, but for three days. 12% is the rate, 3 by 360 days, whatever. So they have not said 360 or 365, you can take either. So this is how much? It is rupees 96. It is rupees 96.
yes so 96 will be my interest on outlay of funds okay i thought it was inlay but it is actually outlay one year as a question suppose if we are getting plus then what in case of cancellations nothing to be given to the customer nothing so yeah sure done now this was your outlay part again remember on which is to be outlays to be calculated on the inflows and outflows the real inflows and the real outflows what is your real inflow what is your real outflow that has happened on the due date it is this that the interbank will come i will have to purchase i will have to spot sale and that's how the whole transaction will happen got it done next New contract rate. Tell me, what is the new contract rate? So see, what they have said that he will come on 10th June and ask for an extension. Okay, he will come on 13th June and ask for an extension for one month. So one month extension will be how much? One month, no? Extension with due date on 10th August. So, till August. So, 13th June, he will come to 13th August. Okay. Because he has come on 13th June. So, two months extension will be how much? It will be 13th August. So, here. Now, what does he want? He wants a forward purchase. Go to the original part. He wants a forward buy. So, if he wants to buy, bank will sell. Bank will sell at ask rate. Bank will sell at ask rate. So, what is the ask rate? Yes, it is 64.25. Done? Done. So, let's start. So, new contract rate for extension period. So, 13th June he comes to 13th August. Chalo. So, now... New contract rate will be for the original thing. What was the original thing? Original thing was importer. So, he wants to purchase. So, purchase. He will do a forward purchase two months. Forward purchase for two months. If he are purchasing, bank is selling at ask rate. At okay, tell me what is the ask rate 64.25? Okay, now remember you are purchasing, margin is to be added. Got it. So it will be 64.25 since customer forward purchase. So, margin added at 0.1% margin. Okay. Now, we will have to round it off. Round off, tell me. So, 64.3142. Rounded off to 50. Correct. 
Got it? Done. So this is your new contract rate. This is your new contract rate. I hope we are clear. Now, finally, total cost. Now we have to calculate the total cost. Calculation of total cost. So, I think we are almost done. Cancellation charges are there. Swap loss is there. Then there is this interest on outlay. Anything else is there or what? 96. Swap loss. 30,000. Swap loss 30,000 and then we have the cancellation charges 156,500. So it will be 1 156,500 plus 30,096. So it will be 186,596. Correct. Done. Done, 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 done. Any doubts, please ask. Okay, and with this, we complete the most important question and the concept. Now, there are very high chances that you would have got diverted with such a big sum. There are very high chances that, you know, part of it you would have understood, part you wouldn't have understood. There are very high chances that you just need a quick recap from my end. So, I will definitely do it. You don't have to worry at all, guys. Because, yes, this is a question which requires a lot of brains. So, it may happen that you would have you know, missed some part of it. Chalo, let's do it again. But first, write it down. Ensure that everything is written so that now I will quickly revise it and will be done and dusted. And then you can refer the magic book guys. All the things that we have discussed here are there in the magic book. All the things. So probably that will also be a very very big help to you guys. See, this is the magic book. So, all the things, delivery, if delivery on due date, what is to be done? If early delivery, swap difference, interest on outlay of funds, what is swap difference? Again, that also I have explained it to you here. Then cancellation, in cancellation, there is going to be exchange difference. In extension, cancel, like cancellation, then book new contract. That is how the system works. Then there was a question where people asked that, sir, what about the gain? In cases of loss, in case of automatic cancellation, losses are recovered from the customer. Profit bank keeps it with itself and does not give to customer. All other cases, gain or loss will be borne by the customer. In one case, there was a fixed flat charges. So that also has been written here. Done. 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 Now pay attention. Sure. Now I am explaining the whole question again. Everybody please focus. Okay. On 10th April, customer comes for a forward buy. I am the bank. I give him the forward buy. 
So basically, if he wants a forward buy, I am selling him. I will take another forward buy with another interbank transaction. On 10th June, he does not come. So what will happen? I will have to honor the interbank commitment. So I honor the interbank commitment. How? By purchasing the forward buy. But what do I do of this $1 lakh dollar? So I will immediately sell it. I will immediately sell it. So spot sell. But what if the customer comes within these three days? What if the customer comes within these three days? Then what will happen? I will have to honor him. So I will do a forward purchase for those three days. Now whenever he wants to come, he can come. I have a backup with me. Done. Done, 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 sir. So that is your swap loss. Cover is taken. Now, as per FADA, he comes on 13th June. We will have to honor it. If he comes and tells honor, no. He says that I want extension. On 13th June, when he comes for extension, basically he is telling that on 13th June, I want to cancel the current contract. In case of cancellation of current contract, what do you do? You assume that the transaction has taken place. So, two months forward, buy was there. So, buy, he will buy. Customer will buy. He will have to buy. But he does not want it right now. He will have to spot sell. So that is where we started with our first thing that customer's open contract will be cancelled by offsetting with opposite contract and that is spot sell. That is spot sell. Are you clear everybody? Guys, I am asking you, are you clear with this? I will go step by step. Rushank, please confirm, are you clear? Right? So, spot sell is your cancellation rate. Okay. Then, forward buy cancellation rate. Think from the angle of the customer. What is his cancellation charges basically? 156,500. We have the rates. Remember to round off the rates close to 0025. So, it could be 25507510. Next, cancellation charges is done. Then we have the swap loss. So now here we have the swap loss. Customer did not come on 10th June. As a result, I had to spot sell and forward purchase. That will result into a swap loss. Then interest on outlay of funds. So what has happened? Uh, what has happened? Real cash inflow and real cash outflow. As a result of that, money got stuck. Right? So what is happening? Purchase forward and spot sell on the due date, on the due date. So that is where my money got stuck because I had to do this because the customer did not come. Because the customer did not come, I had to do this transaction, real transaction, purchase, sale, this real transaction I had to do. So yeah, that happened. Got it? So that was a swap loss. That was a swap loss. Sorry, that was an interest on outlay of funds. And then finally, the new contract that was pretty easy. That was from 13 June to 13 August. Sure. With this, we complete the whole concept of fate of forward contracts. Nice session. Nice brainstorming. I hope we are now totally totally clear with all of this anything else you want let me know you can drop me a whatsapp if any doubts will be happy to help you can tell me how was the session will be happy to know from you and anything else that you want shalom bye bye thank you keep smiling take care see you all in the next session